My name is Tim. I'm part of the team that worked on the new features we just introduced into the Figma editor. Today I'm going to walk you through a really fun and easy way to quickly put together blank states for your app using existing components that will save you a lot of time and make things a lot more visually interesting. It's kind of funny how all the work we do is digital, but a lot of it still, for me at least, starts on paper in these sketches. Like these are some of the sketches of the new drawing tools that made it into the Figma editor. I have an example here of an interface. It's a very common interface. You have your navigation on, on the left and then some uh, content on the right. Quite often there are screens where at some point the user will be adding content, uh, but they might not have done so yet. So you might need a blank screen. Blank screens are basically what you would use to, to fill this area up, right? This is not a super welcoming screen, like people, zero, there are no people. Um, there is a plus button, but it's not really clear what the user is supposed to be doing um, going from here. What you might do is you might add something like this, a bit more uh, context of what happened here. Clearly, no copywriter has helped me with this, um, but I put this together. But this might be a bit boring. Um, it's clear, it tells you, you know, what's happening and why, and there's a clear call to action here. But you might want to dress it up a bit. Sometimes people add illustrations uh, here to, to add a bit of a visual flourish. But not all teams have the luxury of having someone like that in-house or have the budget to hire someone externally. There's a trick that I love to do, which is if you have some iconography already, why not just reuse it? So we took the icon from our sidebar here, the little people icon, and I just scaled it up 10, 10x basically um, to dress it up a bit. We stick to you know the, the purple uh, color we've got going here and it works. But I'm not, I, I can't say that I'm happy with it. Um, so I wonder, like, are, are there like ways that we can dress it up a bit, make the style a bit more unique compared to the rest of the UI and make this icon not feel like we just recycled it, which we obviously did. What I can do from here is switch to this new mode that we have that will give me a bunch of extra tools um, to dress this up a bit. What I can do from here is go into the icon, select the layer on which the fill has been set. And let me try and add a stroke, but not just any stroke. Um, I'm gonna try one of our new dynamic uh, strokes. Zoom in a bit. And you can see dynamic strokes, um, they have this lovely wiggle in it that I can uh, change here from the properties panel. But first, let me set the stroke to the outside and I do think I want the stroke to match the color of the um, object. And now we can play with it some more. I can increase the stroke a bit. Not exactly what I want. So let me just play with this a bit. By playing with these settings, I can get this lovely, almost like hand-drawn edge, like a rough edge to it, which really makes it feel different from um, anything else you have going in the UI. And this kind of turned this icon uh, into something new. Um, but it doesn't really have to stop there. There are plenty of other things uh, that we can do. For example, instead of our dynamic stroke, we can apply a brush stroke to this icon. Like we removed the, the fill and we have this lovely, almost hand sketched uh, outline again, but in a different style. As you go through the different brushes that we have available, you can see how like these really change the feel of this blank state that you're uh, working on. The nice thing is I have a style set now and I can easily copy and paste that style onto other objects. So let's say uh, besides the people tab, we also have a companies tab that needs a blank state. I just took the same icon as you can see here and then I applied the same um, stroke here. So how about we add some fill to this as well to kind of complement the lovely brush stroke we've got going here. I can go to fill and I select pattern fill. Pattern fill is a new type of fill that we offer and it basically allows you to select a source for the pattern fill and then you repeat it in a pattern. So let me select the source. The source is a simple dot that I designed. Let me tweak the settings a little bit. Add a little bit of a gap here. I have to scale this down to 50%. That looks nice. 
change how the stroke is being repeated. I think I like this quite a bit. If you want something a bit more natural than a pattern fill, we can always go for a noise fill, which is a randomly generated noise texture. So let's select our icon object here, add an effect, and then we can start playing. We can play with the opacity, with the noise size, and with the density. I think something like this is exactly what we need to spruce this up uh, a little bit. So just like that, we have a bunch of blank states that look amazing, didn't take a lot of effort, and they're connected to our icons. So if the icons ever get updated later on, the blank states would just update with them. So, great trick.